Alright, what's up guys? So today we're gonna do a video response to uh, Game Hunters R Us. Uh, they're doing a 250 subscriber contest and what's really cool about this contest is that not only do you have to give them a shout out um, but you have to give basically a newer channel a shout out. Uh, a channel that has 50 subscribers or less. Uh, so, you know, that's, that's actually pretty cool that uh, you get to help out other channels. Uh, I think it was maybe six months ago. Yeah, it was like six months ago that I started my channel, and I'm already up to 1,000 subscribers. So uh, it's 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 kind of cool to help out, you know, a couple of other channels. Uh, so I think I'm gonna go ahead and give a shout out to uh, Antoine. Now he has a really cool um, gaming YouTube channel. Uh, he does a lot of uh, let's plays, some reviews. Um, and what I really like about his channel is that he's pretty consistent. So, uh, that's something that you gotta have in order to grow your channel. You gotta be consistent with your videos. Uh, you can, on like, upload a video, uh, today and a month later, upload another one. And, you know, you have to really be consistent, you know, get people to watch your videos. So anyways, uh, I'm gonna give, go ahead and give that shout out to Antoine. And uh, what else? Uh, another, basically another rule that uh, to enter this contest is that you have to basically tell uh, the people uh, what your first game console was. And, you know, some, a memory about it. Uh, to be honest, I didn't really have a console back in the 90s. Uh, I remember, uh, my, my family was of really low income. And back where I grew up, uh, I didn't really, there wasn't really any video games. Well, there was video games, but I think most of them were, were uh, like, uh, like fake copies of like uh, uh, Super Nintendos and NESs so uh, a lot of them were like you know like I wish I had like I wish I had like the actual console to show you guys with actually looking looking out for I've seen a couple of them go on eBay but they're going for like you know uh, 40 to 50 bucks and I'm not gonna spend that much uh, so hopefully I'll come across one of them but it was actually like a cheap NES clone. Uh, I don't even know what it's called anymore. Uh, it had it, it. It looks it, it looks kind of like the NES, except the reset button was in the back. It was like a little trigger button. Uh, if I find it, I'm gonna show you guys. But uh, that wasn't even mine. That was like my cousin's, and um, you know he would come over to my house and we would play that. But uh, if I have to basically talk about my first. Uh, console that I own personally, mine, where uh, I had to buy games for, it was, um, bam, the Nintendo, at the Nintendo Advance, the, the Game Boy Advance. Um, I never, I didn't get the Game Boy Colors, and definitely I didn't get the original Game Boy. Uh, I started out with this, with the Game Boy Advance, uh, and I think it was, it has to be one of my favorite handhelds. Uh, I want to say the Game Boy SP is my favorite. Uh, I think it had everything. It's it's really it's small. You can take it with you. It fits in your pocket. It opens up like a flip phone, which was really cool back in the day. Uh, it had the uh, front lid or back backlit screen. Uh, you know, it played Game Boy Advance, Game Boy Colors, and original Game Boy games. Something that, for example, that the Game Boy Micro doesn't do. Uh, so I think that was that's my favorite one, but the first one that I've ever gotten, and probably my top three handhelds, was the Game Boy Advance. Uh, it's just so comfortable to just you know you can sit there. I used to play this thing for like five plus hours, and um, I I actually this is my second Game Boy Advance, the my original one. I ended up sending it to uh, a cousin of mine back back home and uh, he never played with it so it's actually sitting in his house catching dust 
and one of my missions for this year is actually to get him to send it back to me because I want to have my actual uh, original Game Boy. This was actually a friend's uh, he gave to me. Um, so anyways, uh, Game Boy Advance was my first console. Uh, my original one was the Gla... What's it? Oh, fuck, I forgot. Glazier? Uh, damn, I forgot the, the technical name for it. But it was the see-through purple one. Um, and uh, I remember that game... I mean, that Game Boy came with... I think it was Namco Museum, if I'm not mistaken. I think... That was the game that came with it. So, uh, the next three games that I got, which were probably the highlight of my childhood, um, were, were uh, Super Mario World, Mario Advance 2. Uh, this game is a classic, you know, for the for the SNES. But uh, to have it in your as a handheld uh, with like you know some updates, it's very cool. Uh, I actually got this game again. Uh, hold on. Yeah, I got because the original copy that I had, I think I gave it away. So you know, I'm really bummed about that. But I, I got, a, I got another copy, and I actually played this uh, maybe a couple of months back, and I actually beat it a, a complete, a hundred percent. You know, I collected all the coins and all this stuff. So uh, awesome game. You know, I really love that Mario game. Uh, the second game I remember I got for it was, um, for my birthday, uh, Pokemon Sapphire version. Uh, this game, another Pokemon classic. Uh, this was the first Pokemon game that I played, uh, to be honest, and, uh, you know, and I fell in love with it. I remember I used to play my friend's, uh, Pokemon Red version. And, you know, I used to really like it. And then when I got this uh, with all the better graphics and all those uh, new Pokemon, you know, I got really addicted to this game. So, and I think I still have the same uh, save file from back in the day. Uh, I need to change the battery. Uh, but what's weird about the Game Boy Advance games, or at least this one, is that if the battery dies, your uh, save data won't be erased. Uh, the only thing that doesn't happen are the, are the, it's the clock, and that's it. The clock inside the game, so uh, that's actually pretty cool. So, at least I think, I don't know, I could be wrong, let me know. And the third game that I got was uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! Dark Duel Stories. Uh, this is a crazy game, it was actually a Game Boy Color uh, game, but um, I ha back in the early 2000s, Yu-Gi-Oh! was pretty popular back then and um, you know I used to have the cards and everything and when I got this game it was another game that I was hooked on to you know you get to duel just like you would in the regular cards and um, I'm gonna say something that's gonna you know really be shocking but uh, for those of you that played this game are know what I'm talking about and it's that the music is awesome in this game especially when you get to the final sta stages the bosses uh, some of the best music I've heard in a video game uh, I might get a lot of criti criticism for that but you know uh, it's in my opinion uh, definitely go check out the music for this game you will not be disappointed so that was it it was my Game Boy Advance the one that I that I technically got uh, first so that was actually pretty cool uh, then I got the Nintendo 64 because a friend gave to me then I got the original Xbox and uh, you know the rest is history so uh, I think that's it for the favorite memories uh, let's see Okay, so now I gotta tell uh, Game Hunters our uh, criticism for their channel. And overall, from the videos that I've seen so far, uh, you guys make really cool videos. And I think the advantage that you guys have is that it's two people, so uh, you know you can always um, 
what do you call it? It's it's I think it's a little bit more complicated when it's just you by yourself, uh, since it's just one person talking to the camera. And I think after a while it might get boring. Uh, but with two people, you actually have like you know, uh, not arguments, but you can um, you can have different opinions, and you know, uh, uh, viewers can choose you know uh, uh, between who's right and who's wrong, you know. And I think that adds to to the to the fun of it. To be honest, uh, I th I was I was thinking about starting my channel uh, when I first started with a friend of mine, uh, but I could tell he wasn't really into doing uh, YouTube videos. So it just it's me by myself, um, you know. And uh, so, anyways, I'm getting sidetracked here. Uh, something. Some criticism. Hmm. I think probably the same as as uh, uh, the criticism that I have for my channel myself, and it's uh, probably to get better camera, better quality. Uh, I sh I think I'm thinking about uh, upgrading. You know, not filming from my phone. Uh, the only cool thing about doing it from your phone is that it's so convenient. Uh, you can be driving, just pull it out, bam. And uh, but definitely when I'm at home like this, sitting down, I think I do need a better uh, quality camera. And uh, maybe also uh, consistency. Just be uh, constant with your videos. Uh, you know, I I do. I have videos every Wednesday and every Sunday afternoon, so you know uh, my viewers know when to expect my videos. Uh, sometimes I, I might uh, be a little busy, but it's gonna be like first thing in the morning the next day. Uh, what else? And probably the last thing is um, don't fall into the same trap as all the other. Well, not all the other, but uh, a lot of the other. Um, gaming YouTube channels, which is they did the same thing over and over again. Um, for example, like you know, like they'll they'll do reviews and then they'll do game pickups and then they'll do let's plays and then they do more reviews and then it kind of gets repetitive. And after a while, I think people start to get tired of that. So keep your channel fresh. Um, when I first started out my channel, it was just dumpster diving, and I knew that I had to evolve, so I started throwing in, uh, you know, um, pickups, I, I started doing my own, uh, flea market, uh, what is that called, like, flea market, selling stuff at the flea market, and having that on camera, so I think that I, that adds a lot of new, uh, and creative stuff to my channel to keep the, to keep the people happy. Uh, Cause at the end, that's really what it's all about: is keeping the people interested and entertained. And that's it, guys. I just wanna, um, I just wanna wish you guys good luck. Um, Game Hunters R Us. I'm gonna leave your channel in the link in the description below, and also Antoine. Um, I'm also gonna leave your channel's link in the description below. And that's it. Everybody, go check them out. And I'm out. Peace.